Memphis, Tennessee. It has been written, if music were religion, then Memphis would be Jerusalem and Sun Studio its most sacred shrine. And you are here with Sahara Smith. My name is Sahara Smith, and I'm from Austin, Texas. I've been performing live since I was about 13 or 14. It feels great to establish a connection with the audience. Honestly, I'm so terrified of performing, and it's so daunting to me that I don't think that I would do it if it weren't for those connections that you get with the audience. And just the desire for that is, is so great. Like just knowing that you have written something that someone hears for the first time and instantly goes, wow, that's, that's me. And even if it's not what I get out of the song, it's what they get out of it that matters to me. And if they come away with something, then that's just, it's so special. And, uh, and that's why I, why I perform.
the first time I perform a song uh, is just completely terrifying because, I mean, performing it in a way lets you know how it's going to sit. Like, it teaches you so much about how you're going to do the song and, and if it needs changing here or there. Um, but at the same time, it's like, you know, trial by fire is performing a song for the first time is this complete terror, <laughs> you know. But I just kind of make myself do it, even if I'm not ready. I just make myself perform it in front of people because that's how I know this song is ready. Is if I play it for someone and I get a positive reaction, then then it's ready, then it's done, and I don't have to touch it again. First, I was really reluctant to tour because I didn't want to leave home. You know, all my friends are there, my family's there, and the more I do it, now if I'm sitting at home for a month at a time, I just get so antsy. It gets under you, you know, it gets into you, and you just have to be exploring these new new cities. And I've gotten to see so much of the country that I'd never seen before on this tour. And uh, even if you're only there for a day, you know, you're still there and and you still see it and you still live it for a moment and and it's just so exciting. I, I love it.
Outside of me, it's just kind of about you know being in love with this person and them moving on and having these new experiences that are completely unrelated to you, and feeling very petty about wishing they were still home. And it's you know, let me uh, sleep inside of something I can't see. Hold my hand that I might stand outside of me. It's just like I want to be outside of this feeling and I want to be happy for you, but I'm not. <laughs> Stand outside of me 
Everything that I write comes from a really, really intimate place inside of me, and sharing that with people is terrifying, because what if, I don't know, what if they reject that? It's like they're rejecting this piece of you, but at the same time, when you find that audience that connects to what you're saying, then it's like having this incredibly deep moment with a total stranger, and that's just the most beautiful thing I can think of. Moms and dads in the living room, last down door and all. Toes tucked in. Watch the years fly by, it's easy to forget that there's still time to let a love like that begin. Time to hear somebody breathing in their sleep and smile in my dreams. Get 
See more songs and connect with this artist at sunstudio.com. Check your local listings and tune back in next week for another fantastic original artist on Sun Studio Sessions.